what we're doing here with this video series is seeing how many times I can take the cruiser out for local chores without having to recharge it. The battery on this is somewhere between 40 and 50 miles capacity, depending on how fast you drive it, depending on how heavy you are, depending on how many hills you hit. But I would say this scooter's got at least 40 miles range in it for anybody who drives it. This is our third time taking it out without charging it. Now, before we go on the road, I'm gonna point out some regular stuff that everybody should check on their cruiser before they go. You should always safety check any scooter before you take it out on the road. I do it practically every day. So let me just pull over to the sidewalk here. Let's go. Here's what I want you to look at before you go on the road with your cruiser. These little pieces in here, these nuts, bolts, and screws, simply tighten them. I would tighten them every 50 to 100 miles. I tighten them right before I left, because over time there's a lot of vibration here, and they do tend to get loose. You can use a Loctite on them for sure, but they're pretty small parts, they're pretty finicky to be honest with you. But if you check them regularly, especially this long fastener here, if you keep this tight, and this one right here, you see this little guy right here? That'll really go a long way. Then you can do a walkthrough. All these little screws here, tighten these. They'll generally be tight. You can tighten these here. You don't have to mess with the motor almost ever. You're never gonna tighten the motor screws. Maybe check your calipers. Make sure that your wire here is naturally expressed. See how it's nice and straight and flush. It's not all crimped up and bent. You might have to make some adjustments on the caliper here. That's something that is worth learning for anybody. But again, there's a lot of exposed parts. Just check everything before you go. It's always a smart thing to do, because you never know. What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve, and you're watching ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy, videos about high-powered scooters. We're out here on the E-Move Cruiser, doing the E-Move Cruiser Chronicles. We're seeing how many times we can take this scooter on the road before we have to charge it, just doing general chores. I think there's a couple of different types of customers for this scooter. A lot of people like it for the big battery, and I think that doesn't always mean that those customers are going long distances at once. I think that a lot of times these are customers that don't wanna to have to recharge the scooter too often, right? I mean, what a pleasure it is to just get on the scooter, get off it, get on it, get off it, and not have to charge it every day like a long distance rider does. If you're looking at the eMove Cruiser, I had to share this with you. Check this out. This is from the Facebook eMove Cruiser group. This guy from Facebook got 10,000 miles on his cruiser, all original parts. All he had to do was replace the hinge mechanism. He did have to replace it six times, but it's pretty incredible that a cruiser reached 10,000 miles. But what I'm doing is using it like a user that would just use it for local chores a couple miles each way. So what we have to do first is go to Target, I need to pick up, of course, some food there. And then I'm going to Hot Wings to pick up my dinner. Uh, if you want to see me eat that dinner, by the way, go to my other channel, Electric Scooter Food Reviews, that I just got started that already has 100 plus subscribers. And that's only because of the people from this channel subscribing to it. So I do appreciate you going over there. But anyhow, so this is all about the Cruiser today. This is not a performance review. There's a million performance reviews of this scooter already. You should pretty much know what to expect goes about 30 miles an hour or maybe a little faster maybe a little slower depends on your body weight sometimes it depends on your actual unit maybe slight luck of the draw i mean it's such a bargain for 1500 bucks don't forget to use my bonus code by the way you get 50 bucks off electric scooter academy and the channel exists because of those bonus codes so i don't take it lightly when you use those i really appreciate it you know today i basically already worked i already rode 30 miles on my wolf king gt and I really like that scooter, but it was pretty tiring. That's a bigger scooter. A lot of people don't know this, but bigger scooters are a little more physically demanding to drive sometime. I mean, look at this thing. It's like so light. I'm just like practically, uh, without even trying to, just picking it up. So it is fun to come out here and use the small scooter. And we're not going to go very far. And I'm genuinely curious how many times I can come out here without uh, having to charge it. God, we got stuck at this fucking light. Are you serious? Sorry if your kids are watching, guys. I'm... This is a PG-13 channel. I mean, did you see how, how long was that light? It's great YouTube just sitting there at a light with me, huh? Right, so first we're going to Target because for dinner tonight I'm having hot wings. And one thing about hot wings is, is I don't buy the sides from these places. It's already so freaking expensive. So we're gonna get um, 
pick up like some salads and stuff and salad stuff and some chips and stuff. Like, you know, you want to have french fries with your wings, right? Or I do, and soda, but I'm not buying it from freaking Hot Wings. It's already costing me like, I just ordered $30 worth of food, like way more food than I would normally buy. That's the nice thing about that other channel. I'm going to be picking out on it. It's pretty cool. Uh, but, all right, here's the word here on the boulevard. Lots of zombies blocking my way, of course. Now, I'll tell you, the brakes on this thing are pretty freaking responsive. They're like semi-hydraulic. Oh my God, they're just not gonna let me, not gonna let me ride this scooter through here. Come on, one family at a time, please. One family at a time. Man, this is terrible. These people are trying to get nailed. Is that Kanye? Probably not. So you know what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna tie her up. My rule on security is use a lock and um, go by time. Hi, girls. I'm sorry. Can I just tie up right there? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice. I mean, I'm like a creature of habit. Like, this is my favorite place to lock up, so that's where we're doing it. Got to keep the eye on the prize, guys. I already did order food. All right, Kryptonite Lock. Link in description. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I don't bring this out here just to sell it. I barely sold any of them anyhow. But, boom. A lot of people, I think a lot of people, it's too much money to spend like 125 for a lock. But I think it's a mistake to buy cheaper locks. Um, I just think it is. I think this is something you should not be cheap on your locks. 125 bucks is nothing. Now I know security Nazis that the scooter can still be stolen like this. I'm going to be in and out in a couple minutes. That's basically just a deterrent. They would have to be a professional thief. Like somebody who really is out here gaming scooters to take this thing and watch this move. Boom. I got the camera. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna take my helmet off because I mean I don't want to look like you're coming in there to rob the place. Uh, okay, so let's just go get what we're getting. We need a vegetables. We need chips. Let's get this done. All right, we got in and out of there quick. Applying rule number one or number two, which is be quick. See, so this guy right here, who looks like a fucking thief. I won't even get a fucking chance to touch my fucking scooter. All right, let's get out of here. We gotta go pick up our hot wings on the cruiser. Oh, there goes all our receipts. Pop that right back on there. For a scooter in this price range, this scooter has a really good suspension. These are the worst roads. There's like every, there's a bump like every couple of feet. You can hear it, you can probably see it. But when you ride, a, if you ride a commuter scooter like if you ride almost any other small commuter scooter, similar to the rental scooters, they don't have any suspension at all. They're totally stiff. This one's got a nice front and rear suspension. It's definitely it's much, much more comfortable than a typical rental scooter. I always compare it to the rental scooter because for me, my first exposure to scooters were small rental scooters. And then this was the next scooter I got after that. And next thing you know, I ride the biggest scooters on the market but there's no reason to take my giant scooters out here on like a little two mile trip down the street to get uh, some food. So the little cruiser is awesome. And again, this is trip number three without having to charge this. I think that's pretty cool. There's still like, uh, there's four out of five bars on the readout, but I kind of teach people not to trust their readout too much, that they should ride their scooter as they typically would, pay attention to the readout, but pay attention to your top speed. When you start to lose your top speed, that's when you know you're really truly getting low on battery. So if your top speed is normally 30 miles an hour and you're only getting 27 miles an hour, 10% less, you've probably already lost 50% of your battery. I think Hot Wings is, uh, we're almost there. I was doing deliveries right here from this place today. We, uh, Hot Wings is further down. It's just been a while since I've been here. We are gonna tie up too. Again, I know there's a lot of electric scooter newbies on here at all times, so they asked me about security, right? What am I gonna do when we gotta go inside to get this food? I'm gonna lock it up with a kryptonite lock, one of the best locks on the market. They're a little pricey, they might cost you 130 bucks, but I still think they're the uh, best, best lock out there. I'm gonna show it to you right now. Uh, boom, lock it up. It's just a deterrent, it's not a perfect lock, but it'll get us there. But right, so we had to sit down for quite a bit in uh, Hot Wings, but it was chill, we got it. This little twister on here has been working really good for me. Hey, buddy. Electric. How long is gonna stay if you try 
charger. This one is one of my best for distance. This one goes 50 miles, 50, as much as 50. It's pretty good. It's not super fast, but it goes pretty fast. It goes 25 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour. Got to wear your headgear, though. You don't want to fall. I already fell a couple times. Miles. Range, distance. Yeah. yeah, that's what this scooter is known for. It's only 1,500 bucks, which is pretty inexpensive, relatively inexpensive. Most, I, my scooters that go 60 miles per hour speed, they really only go 25 miles range, distance. Uh, you know, nice exactly. But this is great for the neighborhood. This is great. I go home, eat my wings, and my wings will be fresh. How's business? I don't know. I'll just come to fix the oh, I, oh, I thought it was your place. I thought it was your place. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Bye, buddy. Let's see if I don't fucking crash. Whoa, see, that's fucking, he's too fast. Whoa, see, that's fucking, he's too fast. Whoa, see, that's fucking, he's too fast. On the sidewalk? Yeah. Fine. Fucking kid, religious kid, too. Like, you would think he'd fucking know better. You, on the sidewalk, you have to ride like a baby. Because when somebody comes out of a store, sometimes you leave a restaurant, hey, what's up? You go running, you leave, hey, what's up? Boom! Fucking stupid. I'm going to go run him over. <laughs> Take it easy. See, this kid went fucking flying by me. Made me mad. Kid doesn't know. I explained to that guy, you got to ride a scooter as if somebody is coming out a door. And now he's just doing like figure eights, waiting for trouble. All right, he's just gonna, you're going to make your move here, kid, now? Is this it? Uh, very good, very good. Just because you're religious doesn't mean you're fucking smart. He's got the talus under there. You can see that sticking out from under his shirt. That's what the uh, religious Jews around here wear. I don't really know what the function is, but anyhow. It is nice riding this scooter, though, kind of chill. You know, I ride it differently. You got to ride each scooter differently, obviously. When you're on a bigger, faster, high-speed scooter, it's more dangerous for many reasons. A smaller scooter has certain elements of danger as well. I can't ride this expecting the type of performance I get from my big Cabo or my big Dultron. I mean, still, we're going to be up here going 25, 30 miles an hour easy. I got to be careful. This feels like fast enough for what we're doing. But we're going faster than the traffic, right? Your biggest worry is some asshole decides to pull into your lane. So the cruiser is good, but you know, you gotta like, it's, it, it's got great performance, but it's not high performance. You gotta be careful. You're not gonna get in and out of corners as easily as you are. Like a, comparing this to like just my, my Mantis King GT, my Cabo Mantis King GT, that's 2,200 bucks compared to this at 1,400 bucks. That scooter is much different. Like you can really rip in and out of positions on that because it's got more acceleration, the front and rear, got the front and the rear motor. So I can understand why it's like a hard decision when you're looking at scooters, like what to buy, because they make pretty big jumps from price class to price class. Like in the same breath, if you go from the Mantis King GT to the Wolf King GT, you've just made another huge jump. And you went from like a 44 mile per hour scooter to a 60 mile per hour scooter. But you just gotta ride within the performance of the scooter and your comfort level and you're comfortable. Like don't overestimate your skill level. Like right here, this would be a very good fucking accident. But I'm looking hard over my left shoulder before I go. I'm putting myself back on the right. Like here, like in this type of traffic, I'm basically like driving on the right. I'm not even holding the center of the lane. I don't know if you can tell a difference. Like this is holding the lane in the center, but I'm like driving to the right. Well, at this point we're in the parking spaces, so. Uh, most of these drivers out here know though, they know to give. Come on, go, go, go. What are you doing? What are you doing? They know to give drivers uh, birth. I don't know why this guy just did that. All he had to do is keep going. Sometimes people overcompensate for you. We're going up a pretty steep hill here. This is probably a 30 degree incline. E Move Cruiser in action. Probably best climbing single motor scooter on the market. Man, we're hitting bumps, but we're doing okay. Oh, we are in a lot of traffic here now. We are fucking, I didn't really mean to take La Brea, to be honest with you, but we're gonna do it, we're doing it. Everything's performing well. Fuck it. <laughs> You're getting a show on the E-Move Cruiser in my mind. Like, I've done deliveries on this, so obviously I've gone everywhere, but this is not a giant scooter. Great first person scooter. Although sometimes people have kind of a certain need set, you know, a certain set of needs on a scooter, and it's just to be able to go you know, a few miles in each direction without ripping up speed, you know, thinking they gotta go super fast every time or beating the shit out of it all the time. There's different types of users, you know? If you treat your E-Move Cruiser well, it's gonna last a long time. And I have to tell you, 
if I didn't, I have to include this earlier in the video, you know, there's a guy out here, there's a guy on the Facebook groups that has 10,000 miles on his friggin' Emu Cruiser. It is insane. He's been doing like DoorDash deliveries on it, just like I do. But he's got 10,000 miles on it. And he said he had no problems. I never heard of a, I never heard of a, uh, oh, these guys are gonna give me a hard time. Oh, ah, motherfuckers. I never heard of an Emu Cruiser with 10,000 miles on it, especially one that's got like all, like mostly original parts. It's very impressive. There's certain parts, like I think in the hinge and other elements I think you need to like replace. Man, somebody's back there honking at me, pissing me off. We are almost home for the third episode of the Chronicles. We still got, let's see, with no voltage sag, we actually are down to three batteries. No, four batteries. You see, you got, that's why you can't really trust your readout because of a voltage sag, meaning when you're accelerating. All right, so we're gonna jump on the sidewalk for the rest of this so it'll be safer. You know, when you're accelerating and you look at your readout, it's gonna go down, that's voltage sag. And then if you let it sit, take it off for a second, that kind of shows you your true, uh, your true readout. Man, there's good looking girls up here today. What's going on? I'll take it any day. Watch your back, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's good, protect your girlfriend. Audi fellow pioneers, we're almost home. Thank you for watching another episode of the Emove Cruiser S Chronicles. I appreciate your support. It was fun hanging out with you. You want to watch me eat this food? You want to see this food? You can only see it in Electric Scooter Food Review. I'm going to go home and eat this and shoot that video now. Appreciate your support. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments, ask questions. We're home. Thanks again. Get the fuck out of bed, bitch, go.